Cincinnati has come out of nowhere and is now the number 7 ranked school in the country. A major reason why they're playing so great is a QB in control of it all, Desmond Ryder. Ritter slant, touchdown! Michael Young Jr. And the Bearcats take the lead. Desmond Ryder was born in Louisville, Kentucky and grew up like many kids. He went to the YMCA and played sports like t-ball, soccer, basketball, and football. Once Desmond got to grade school, he narrowed his focus onto baseball, basketball, and football. Fast forward a few years to around 7th or 8th grade, and Desmond decided to only focus on basketball and football. Although Desmond played multiple sports throughout grade school, football was ingrained with him as a young kid, when in preschool, him and his grandmother, a huge Eagles fan, threw the football in the front yard, and she taught him how to throw a spiral. As you can probably tell, his grandma was a big football fan, and even got Desmond an Eagles outfit for Halloween year. What a great grandma. Going into high school, Desmond was 5'10", 150. He was pretty skinny, but had decent height already. To put it in perspective, Kyler Murray is only 5'10". Six touchdowns and no interceptions. Now Murray, for the first time today, really With this build, it was tough for Desmond to make the varsity squad as a freshman, and he didn't. That wasn't until his sophomore year, where he played in a whopping two games and threw the ball 10 times with four completions for 89 yards and two picks. As you can see from the beginning, Desmond was a natural. Obviously, Desmond struggled his sophomore season, but was able to improve greatly with the help of his head coach, Will Wolford, who surprisingly played in the NFL for the Bills, Colts, and Steelers as an offensive lineman, and even made three Pro Bowls. Will had the ability to teach Desmond what it would take to make the next level, and he did. Desmond's junior season was much better, but still not great, as he threw for nearly 900 yards in 8 games with 5 touchdowns and 7 picks, along with 400 yards rushing and 9 touchdowns. Many players would be down on themselves for such a season, but Desmond knew what it took to make it to the next level and had his best season his senior year as he threw for over 800 yards in 10 games with 8 touchdowns and only 4 picks, and in turn he was named All-Metro. You may look at this and be like, how did he only throw for 800 yards? And my answer to that is, he also ran for over 800 yards and 16, yes, 16 touchdowns. Desmond's high school stats don't look too good on paper, with only 800 passing yards and 14 touchdowns to go along with 12 picks. But he was able to run the ball for over 1,300 yards and 25 TDs. With a solid senior year behind him, Desmond was now a 6'3", 175-pound, 3-star coming out of high school, and had the height. Maybe not the weight, but the height for the next level. When looking on his recruiting profile, the only team that seems to pop up is Cincinnati. And that's because there was not many schools that interested in Desmond as Cincinnati because of his underwhelming high school career. There was one person in particular that was so interested in Desmond, and that was the offensive coordinator and now head coach of the coincidentally Cincinnati Bengals, Zach Taylor, who was with the team in 2016, right when Desmond was being recruited. This connection with him and Zach led him to commit to Cincinnati over a powerhouse in Eastern Kentucky. <laughs> Desmond was able to fill in at QB from the get-go when starting quarterback Hayden Moore was injured in the third series in the season opener against UCLA. In that game, Desmond led the team from a 10-point deficit to beat the Bruins. From that game on, Desmond took over the offense, and in his freshman season, he threw for over 2,400 yards, 20 touchdowns, along with over 500 rushing yards and 5 touchdowns. It's crazy that in his freshman year of college, Desmond threw for over 400 more yards than his entire high school career. Unsurprisingly, the team went 11-2 and peaked as a number 19 team in the country, and the team ended up beating Virginia Tech in the military bowl. Going into his sophomore season, Desmond knew what it took to be great and had a solid sophomore year, throwing for just over 2,100 yards and 18 touchdowns along with only 9 picks. Upon that, he rushed for over 600 yards and 5 touchdowns. Although it wasn't as good as his freshman year, it was still enough to lead his team to an 11-3 record and a ranking as the number 17 team in the country as they destroyed Boston College and the Birmingham Bowl 38-6. Damn! Coming into this year, Cincinnati was prepared for another great year, and so far they've done that and so much more. So far this season, Cincinnati has gone 6-0 and are ranked number 7 in the country already, with Desmond playing phenomenally with over 1,100 yards and 11 TDs to only 6 picks and nearly 400 yards rushing along with 8 rushing touchdowns. Desmond has led the team to one of the best rankings they've ever had in the top 10 and some great victories over teams like Number 2 Army, where they won 24-10, and number 16 SMU, a team that they destroyed 42-13. Having already beat some top schools, it makes sense why Cincinnati is ranked so high, yet they still have a long way to go before they can be considered one of the best. But with Desmond Ryder in control, the future looks bright for the Bearcats. Better. Big opportunity for Desmond who breaks a tackle, and Desmond Ritter has another rushing touchdown for the Bearcats. Thanks for watching the video. Subscribe and like for more videos like this. And in the comment section down below, talk about how you feel about Desmond and Cincinnati. See you guys on Sunday and peace out.